Okay, here we are I, after another day. I battery died on me earlier and I couldn't record anything. I have a bearing made and I have put an oiler hole in it and I did the bearing projects about a millimeter out from the the plates of the frame and there's like a, just a, a wee small shoulder just to reduce the friction. Had one on this side only the clearance was very very tight. In fact you can actually see that I've had to file just a wee angle on the bottom of the cylinder just to make sure it clears the flywheel. I had to file the, the little shoulder off this side. Now I I have the bottom of the a piston rod made, and it's much much better than the one I originally did because I turned a couple of six mil buttons and put them on, used them as a guide for filing and then finished it off on emery paper so it's turned out absolutely fantastically I need to mill the top of it next but it's getting late I made a crank pin a 4 millimeters, and then down to 3 to replace the one that I had originally made and not fitted it, I realised that the crank pin hole had not been drilled perfectly square with the flywheel. So I drilled it through with a 4.5mm drill bit and remade a new crank pin, which is much better and that's much more square I uh, probably slight well my, hopefully it's perfectly square but it's much better than the previous one I took a tiny little skim off the face of the flywheel just I uh, as the because I'm using cobalt cutters and I just we would have used uh, just ordinary tool steel at the tack. As I say, we had limited resources down there because they were in a tight budget for materials. So I, the piston, I was unable to remove the press fitted rod from the piston, so I just cut it off and faced the end of the piston and put a slight little chamfer on it. Uh, that's already been lapped to fit the cylinder so I don't want to damage it. So when I mounted it in the lathe I wrapped it in paper. Just enough to do a single layer of paper so that it's centre. It's drilled out 2mm. I have a few pieces of this these are little rollers out of I think of HP printers or various printers though some of this stuff is hardened though I think this may be okay because I was able to just uh, turn the small end of it with a cobalt tool I, some of the previous stuff I've had, I, I t or the dies just wouldn't cut threads in them at all because they had like a, they were hardened and coated. I have a new set of taps and dies or ordered and when they arrive I'll find out what this stuff is like this is hopeful but if not I may have to turn some 
larger stuff down which I don't really want to do but that's it at the moment and I once I get or I may actually start on the shaping of this frame this whole piece is going to be cut down angled from here out to about uh, somewhere around here then follow the contour of the the flywheel down to the bottom where it's going to be cut at a 45 degree angle there's small scribe lines on it but i don't think you would be able to see them at the moment i still have to i mill this block slightly but that's only for just cosmetic reasons a new spring and then shape the back I, I have the brass tube now I'm thinking of bringing a pipe out and down and bringing it through the back of here and putting a a brass connection on here that I can fit a 6mm silicone tube on because this thing will most likely be run on compressed air and possibly steam at a later date but I not originally was designed to go across to a small boiler and just I don't think 2mm copper pipe would last too long if it was just protruding out of the block so I may bring it down the back and out. I still haven't decided what to do there yet but that's it all for now uh, so bye bye for now